Abraham Lucas looks like an absolute superstar over at right tackle for the Seattle Seahawks. And today we're going to break his tape down because damn, he looks really, really, really good. Let's jump right into it. On this inside zone to the left, you're going to see Lucas get low, get physical number 99, get right into the chest plates and drive him backwards and put him into the dirt. That right there is what I want to see by a rookie right tackle. I want to see him come in on his first play and I want to see him put someone down. Now, Abraham Lucas has went viral for his pancaking and crushing blocks, rightfully so, but I think the thing that kind of gets missed when you look at players and you only talk about how they're putting people down is the fact that some guys put good technique and Lucas kind of shows that on tape. When you take this play right here, he does a great job reaching to the inside of number 95 and sealing him off. Now, of course, this play doesn't hit, but that's not because of Lucas. In fact, Lucas does a great job getting to the inside of this defensive tackle. Of course, he's the backside block on this inside zone. Of course, him reaching the way he does gives the running back a cutback lane. Now, of course, the front side linebacker blows this play up. However, if any of these three guys were able to block number 55 and 45, there may have been a massive cutback lane for the running back. And we would have said that only happened because of Lucas and his ability to make this block on this guy. I mean, this right here is what you want to see from an offensive tackle when he's backside blocking. You want his butt facing the running back. This is a really nice job. Again, the play doesn't hit, but from an individual perspective, Lucas does a really solid job. But let's go ahead and get into a couple other reps. Now, one of the things with Lucas is he had so many flashy reps, but he did have a couple of losing reps. And to be fully non-biased and to be 100% honest, I think it's important to watch those reps. This is going to be one of his losing reps. Now, this isn't a losing rep in terms of he loses like in a pass set or in a run block. I think this is more of a losing set in terms of he didn't do his job. Now, this is obviously a screen, as you guys can see, to the tight end, no offense. And I'm not sure exactly what Lucas is doing. I'm, I'm really not sure what the entire offensive line is doing because this is kind of weird. They're all kind of showing a run block. They're all jump setting towards the defensive line. But it is a play action, as you guys can see. And there is a screen to the bottom to no offense. Now, if you guys watch Abraham Lucas, he kind of locks in with number 96 and he sticks with 96. Ideally, on this type of play, he should have turned his butt this way and essentially allowed the defensive tackle to go to the inside. Now, he doesn't do that. And it's his guy that ends up blowing the play up here as number 96 sheds Lucas. And he's the guy that initially stops the tight end from picking up any yards. Although the guy doesn't make the play, everyone else kind of rallies and, and blows this play up. But this is interesting. Keep in mind, Lucas probably doesn't have a lot of experience in running these NFL concepts. And you guys can see he obviously loses on this play. Not a big deal. It's teach tape. I'm sure the coaching staff has already spoken to him about it. But I think it is important to bring these plays up. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Jumping forward into this next rep, you have Lucas with the right guard next to him and Gabe Jackson, as well as the center. And they're going to basically pass off and switch number 99 and 95. Quarterback has a lot of room to throw the ball, but this play hits right here because of Lucas, the center, and the right guard. Now, I oftentimes say this, mental processing is a big part of playing the game of football. This guy's going to go into Lucas, number 95 is going to go here, attack the inside of that right guard and then as this play is continuing this defense event here is going to try to go to the inside and number 95 is going to try to come back around to the outside so in this play you have to mentally process that and switch this is basically a stunt between number 95 and 99 there's a stunt lucas does a good job keeping his head up and being able to just switch and pick up the guy that's stunting and coming around that's a good job between those two guys right there to pick that up ultimately that keeps the quarterback clean and he drops it to the receiver for a massive game. Now, of course, as we just mentioned, that last play is a big part of mental processing, right? How do you see defensive line games? How do you see stunts? Are you able to switch and swap guys? Well, Lucas in college, I remember watching his tape, showed that he could do that and it's translating into the league. On this play from the backside angle, you're gonna see him do just that. Uh, him and the right guard are gonna switch 99 and 96. Now, that's a really solid job to be able to swap right there. You know, people may not realize, but one of the things that defenses do, even in preseason, is they're going to attack these, these rookie tackles. They're going to attack them and see if they can run these stunts and potentially confuse someone, right? And Lucas does a great job not only passing off number 99, like he makes sure number 99 is fully passed off the game before he switches over to 96. And the thing about this play is it doesn't look like he's panicking or anything like that. 
Like, he's not even worried that number 96 is going to get to the edge. He makes sure 99 is fully passed off, and he does a great job getting to that defensive end. This is a really, really nice play by Lucas, as well as Gabe Jackson. Of course, Gabe Jackson, uh, all-pro player. Lucas, a rookie. I think this guy, as well as Charles Cross, I think this, this offense line is about to be one of the best offensive lines. It's definitely already one of the best young offensive lines. I, I think there's a lot here. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Jumping forward into this next rep, I want you guys to watch Lucas on this play and tell me if you guys think he does a good job or a bad job. You know, I saw this play. Someone actually tagged me when I posted that I think Abraham Lucas looks really good. Someone said that he's a bit slow, and they showed me this play right here. Now, of course, they're running a screen. Everyone gets it. But this person specifically said that this play doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, Lucas should have punched this guy and slowed him down. The guy got too close to the quarterback. And I cannot disagree more. This is actually a really heads-up play by Lucas. I am sure this is 100% taught to him. But what Lucas does is something that the Kansas City Chiefs oftentimes do to get Patrick Mahomes out of the pocket. And that is he's going to 45 degrees set this. Now he does that with the intention and understanding that this defensive lineman is going to see that you're getting so wide and he's going to naturally go to the inside. That's literally exactly what happens. He 45 degrees sets. Number 91 sees the inside lane. He takes it. 91 thinks he has a shot at the quarterback. Little does he know they're running this screen right here to 84. That's a great job. Now, we broke down a different screen pass a little bit earlier on. As you guys know, Lucas was the guy that kind of lost that play. And I almost think to myself, if they wanted to call this play once again, because it's a screen to the tight end, just to see if Lucas could do it correctly this time. Uh, maybe he got confused that last play, but this is a great snap right here by Lucas. He oversets perfectly in the 45 degree set. 91, 91 gets baited in and he does a great job. Uh, great job let's go ahead and get into the next rep one of my absolute favorite things watching offensive tackles is how do these guys vertically set you know there are three sets a lot of people don't know them but i'll go ahead and quickly just explain the three there's the vertical set which is straight back there's the 45 degree set which we saw on that last screenplay and there's what we refer to as a jump set which is directly towards the defensive lineman typically as used on play action plays one of my favorite things to do is watch how guys vertically set because every guy has like their own way to get vertical. Every guy has their own kick step, their own method and technique to this. And the way Lucas does it is fantastic. Uh, he gets vertical. 91 is super wide. He's like in this wide nine. I don't even know if that's nine and maybe even further than a nine at that at this point. He's so far outside the tight end. But Lucas knows it. He gets vertical. And he's long and he's lengthy and he does a great job getting his hands right into that defensive end slowing him down he's gonna jump and lucas is a good job keeping his hands on him that's a really nice rep let's go ahead and get into the next one one of the things with offensive linemen is you don't oftentimes see true pass sets you don't oftentimes see second and 15 or third and 10 right it's true pass sets uh, here's a, a great example this is second and 15 this is a true pass set like the offense is going to come out and the right tackle and right guard are going to do a great job switching here the right guard is an okay job but the right tackle does a great job he takes on number 79 and he really shuts it down you guys can see it from the end zone angle a little bit better but mental processing is such a big part of the game of football and at washington state like one of the things i loved about lucas and you guys can check the video that i made of him while he was in college the guy does so many great things and being able to switch on these defensive line games was one of those things now just to get into this a little bit deeper and get into like the nitty-gritty punches and hands and all that stuff if you guys keep a close eye on lucas on this play right number 79 is going to punch lucas's hands now look at lucas's left hand he has 79's right arm grab that's a great job to keep leverage for yourself number 79 is going to use his left hand to swap the right hand of lucas and lucas does not get off balance there's the punch instead lucas is going to just readjust his hands get his helmet in back into that defense man and just shut down that's a nice rep man uh, one of the things with offensive linemen and even defense linemen is hands you got to have good hands you got to have a good punch you got to be able to react to the side sweeps and side scissors and the swims and rips and you have to be able to handle all of those different pass rush techniques lucas does man this is a really nice shot to handle that uh, swipe right there by that defensive end now here's something that you don't often see every single day you know when these guys are so wide one of the things that offensive linemen struggle with is to get vertical 
All right, so one of the things that coaches teach nowadays is what's referred to as turning the wide nine into a wide five. And if you guys don't know what that means, I'm going to explain it using the end zone angle. When guys are so wide, how do you shut that down? Well, one of the ways to shut it down is what Lucas is going to do here. He's going to almost take two steps to his right and make contact with this guy before this guy could really get upfield. This is very unique for Lucas to go directly at number 91 and bring the contact to him. This is a really nice job by Lucas. And one of the things with offensive line pass sets is you want to mix things up. You don't want to continue showing the same vertical set over and over and over the same repetitive punch, right? You want to mix things up because when the defensive end thinks he's about to speed rush you and you go directly at him, his entire pass rush changes. He has to use his hands way quicker than he's ready to use them. Number 91 probably thought he's going to have a good one and a half seconds before Lucas is going to make contact. But well, Lucas shuts that down by going directly at him and turning that one and a half down to maybe one second. And Lucas gets his hands right on that defensive end. Now, the defenseman does give him a double hand swipe, also referred to as a side scissor. He's going to get both hands right on the hands of Lucas. He's going to knock those down. And Lucas is slightly off balance here. Uh, but he does a great job readjusting himself and getting his hands back up onto the defense end and shutting him. That's a really nice pass set by Lucas. Now, I do want to switch focus a little bit and talk about Lucas against the Pittsburgh Steelers because the guy had a fantastic game. Like, he was flat out dominant against the Steelers. And the crazy thing is he went viral for putting people down. But once again, it was the technique that really stood up to me. Take this play right here. He's going to be the backside block on this inside zone, which is supposed to go to the left. And he understands his responsibility. You know, 95 is going to the inside. 50 is also trying to go to the inside. Lucas is going to adjust himself, get on number 50. And number 50, who wants to go to the inside, is going to be allowed to go to the inside. In fact, Lucas is going to just turn him and put him down in the dirt. And the running back cuts right off that and picks up a massive chunk of yards. That's a really solid block. But there's other blocks that I want to talk about in this game as well. So let's go ahead and get into them. Jumping forward into this next rep, you have number 50 who is going to try to speed rush Lucas. And Lucas is going to set up in a 45 degree set. As Lucas sets up in the 45 degree set, Lucas is going to punch him with his right hand to slow him down and to try to neutralize his speed rush. Now, number 50 is going to get the right hand on Lucas, use the left hand to chop down. And that doesn't work because Lucas initiated through that first right punch. And then the defense man is going to try to using that right hand and try to rip. And that doesn't work either. Lucas does a great job with his footwork. He stays upright. He rides number 50 and he lets him go wherever he wants. This is a great pass set. You know, it's interesting because as I watch some of the rookie tackles that have come out, some guys that were in the first round, they don't look as good as Abraham Lucas. And this guy went way later in the draft. Similar to the play I showed you guys in the most recent game, Lucas is going to close the gap with number 50 on this play. He's going to go directly to number 50. He's going to change up his pass set. And he's going to take it right to number 50. He's going to get that right hand right onto his chest. I love this set right here by Lucas. The guy's unique. The guy's special. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. One of the concepts that I like to teach is uh, what's referred to as mental processing. Typically, it's used on, on stunts and stuff like that in pass sets. But it could also be used in run blocks. And this is a great example of that. Number 72 is going to process what's happening in front of him. He's going to take the guy right in front of him. Now, keep in mind with the inside zone, you're really blocking an area. So for Lucas, he's really responsible for this inside gap here. As he takes that gap, the linebacker blitzes that same gap. He's going to get off of his guy and he ends up getting to the linebacker. And the tight end ends up overtaking his guy. The running back cuts it and picks up about five yards. But it's really Abraham Lucas's block on this play. It's the fact that he processed that this linebacker is trying to jump the inside gap. And he's going to get off of the defensive tackle and get up to the linebacker. This is a fantastic block right here by Lucas. Again, mental processing and pass sets as well as run sets are two completely different things. But it still shows you how a guy processes, how a guy reads the field. That's a great job right there. So far, I love the development of Lucas. I think he's done such a great job. He's played over 90 snaps, which is a lot of snaps. But I understand, right? The Seahawks want to get him 100% caught up to the game speed and all that good stuff. And I'll be honest, I think he's ready to start day one. Like He's a great run blocker. He's a great pass blocker. He does all the different things you want to see from top tier tackles. Of course, 
I'm not saying he's a top tier tackle today, but he can absolutely develop into that. Like the guy has so much potential. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't a whole lot of editing and those kind of things in this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I do hope you guys learned something new. And if you did, please consider subscribing. We're going to have a Charles Cross video coming up in the next week or so. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.